we are turning the Poppy Playtime characters into spore monstrosities. <laughs> Good God. Kissy Missy's far more kissable than this. This is the Huggy Wuggy you take your parents to meet, you know? Huh? <laughs> oh God, no. How do I make her fly? Okay, to explain what we're doing, we are turning the Poppy Playtime characters into spore monstrosities. If you saw my previous video, I did the same thing with Five Nights at Freddy's characters. Let me show you some of my handiwork. <laughs> Everyone loves Freddo Fazbone. Let's take him out for a spin. Not share. <laughs> no, I do not dare release Freddo Fazbone onto the web. Here comes the boy. This is the sort of end result that we're probably going to arrive at today. Now, let's do it with Poppy Playtime. Who should be first? Okay, everyone wants to see Huggy. All right, so Huggy Wuggy. I'm going with his cannon design, a happy boy. Let's stand this boy up. He's definitely a vertical lad. Beautiful, he's got a little bit of a tum-tum. A little bit of a tummy. Okay, let's get some legs on him. Now we've got a bit of a problem because Huggy's head is a very unusual shape. So I don't know how I'm going to manufacture this head. This is gonna be the stupidest thing I've ever done. Mm. I don't like how it looks like a chicken leg, but this is getting closer. <laughs> it does look like his head is very strong. I mean, yeah, right? Eyes, big, lovely cartoon eyes. I like how the placement of the arms makes him look a little bit sad. Oh, you know what? If I could flip this upside down, then that would be a perfect shape. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at his underbite. I don't know what's wrong with this big tooth. Big smile. I'm liking this. Oh my God, what's happened to his posture? Okay, I'm gonna lift him up. Damn, Huggy. <laughs> he's doing a little thing like he's got a plan. I've just realized his pose is like the, you know I had to do it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Huggy Wuggy. My fellow Americans. Okay, I'm gonna experiment with different eyes, but I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. There's more cartoony eyes here. A lot of people are saying yes, and Gabriella can't even finish her no, so I think that means that it's a yes. Okay, let's get this bow on there post haste. Huggy Wuggy has eyebrows. We're gonna have to use a mustache. <laughs> He's such a sophisticated gentleman. This is the Huggy Wuggy you take your parents to meet, you know? Oh, you know what, and I forgot something. I was gonna do something just as our little treat. I wanna put something on his bum. I'm gonna put a top hat on him. Why, why not, Nutella Soap? He is a gentleman after all. Oh no, it's red. I'm having second thoughts now that it's red. There we go, here's the boy. <laughs> I forgot that he had a little hat on his bum. You see, that's exactly why I put it there. It's a little, it's a little treat. This is him after he fell down in chapter one and banged his head. He came back looking like this. Okay, what does everyone think of the Wuggy out of 10? There seems to be a large amount of eight out of tens. But before we leave, we've got another person to make, Kissy Missy. So first up, Kissy Missy's far more kissable than this. Pink, gorgeous, and I think Kissy Missy would have different eyes as well. Beautiful. Okay, now kissable lips. Yep, that's the kissing noise. Now can I get more of these kissy lips on either side? You could just throw yourself blindfolded at Kissy Missy and you would probably land a kiss. Should I do the love heart thing like she's got in the picture? She looks like she's very shy about her head. Someone made fun of her about it. She's now hiding her head. I don't know what it is, but I love Kissy Missy about 20 times more than I liked Huggy Wuggy. It is so good. Okay. Let's get that bow on her. I don't see anyone having any issues with this. I think that's a perfect kissy. The way she moves is kind of cute. Awkwardly stepping because of the legs I gave her. POV, Kissy Missy has spotted you and is on the way to give you a big old smooch. Mwah! It's time for birth. One, two, three. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at these ones! They're poise? Perfect. Oh my god, Kissy Missy is a pageant mum. I don't like how their legs are quivering. You see that? It makes me feel bad. Like, they can't support their own weight. So there we go. Kissy Missy, everyone. What do you think? 10 out of 10? An 8 out of 10? 10, 10 out of 10. Nebulous as a kiss? Out of miss. Who is next? A surprising amount of people want to see Bron. Bron is an underrated character in Poppy Playtime. So let's finally give him the credit he deserves, shall we? <laughs> what is this starting shape? Okay, Bron does have a tail. Maybe the game just gave me the perfect Bron right out of the gate. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is. Keep your answers to yourselves. <laughs> Why does he look so sad? Bron, it's gotta be okay, buddy. <laughs> look at that face. He keeps getting more tired with every detail I add. <laughs> he didn't get his eight hours. I can tell you that much for sure. This is like Bron, but 20 years later. Midlife crisis Bron. <laughs> He was in Poppy Playtime, everyone loved him, and then the world moved on to a Garten of Ban Ban. Bron equals mid? Say that to his face. How dare you? Okay, he's basically got entirely straight legs. He has no knees at all. There we go. Ooh, I don't like how those bend the wrong way, but okay. Paint mode. Let's make him red and yellow. <laughs> this is so good. I can go to the outfit creator step, but I don't think there's anything to add. Hmm. I would love to give him like a tie, like he's got an office job. There we go. Okay, let's take him for a whirl. Oh, I love how stiff his legs are. Gotta love Bron. Everyone's favorite depressed dinosaur. <laughs> Good God. It's fine, chat, I'm gonna make him happy. He does look a bit like Mr. Bean, actually. If Mr. Bean was a dinosaur, this is what he would be. Are you guys ready? What if Mr. Bean Bron was to flirt with you? This is what it would look like. Oh my God. Mm. Cover it up, censor that. We can't show that. I want to see it again. <laughs> you saucy devil. Mm. Wait a minute, I can make him moonwalk? <laughs> oh God, he's still got it. Okay, time for birth. Okay, that's pretty cute. <laughs> what do we rate Midlife Crisis Bron out of 10? 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Someone just says, what have you done? <laughs> it's so good. The dry chapped lips. He needs some lip balm real bad. Oh, he heard that. I'm sorry, Bron. Okay, who is next? I'm actually shocked by how many people are saying Cat B. So I guess we'll make... Cat B from memory. I guess I will just, like Jazz, intuit a cat B. This is a good start, I think. Let's find a cute cat face. Like that? Oh dear, this is not gonna be good, is it? Mimikyu says my first stream is this. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, it could be worse. The nose has been eaten a little bit. Maybe that's for the best, actually. <laughs> From which side is it a cat? That's a good question. <laughs> now look, chat, this is at least approaching cathood. Straight off the bat, we want to add some wings because I think we're losing any sort of Venus, and I think that is making us lose our way a little bit. There we go. This is a cat bee. I don't know what you guys are expecting. This... I took one spine away from the tail, and that is what it did. What happens if I do it again? God. Here's the thing. You know what cats have? That letter three mouth. So can I kind of create a version of that with this eye stalk? Don't worry. You, the eye, I swear the eye won't be visible. I promise. I pinky promise. Oh, God. It does come out more than I expected. All right. I think that's fine. I think we're on the right track here. What a good cat. <laughs> Don't make the donkey sound. Anything but the donkey sound, please. Black eyes. I can't make black eyes. At least I don't know how to make black eyes. Okay, here we go. Black eyes. Ready? It looks like a creepy pasta. It looks like it's from the Mandela catalog. Okay, I've got to see how it moves, right? Does it fly around? <laughs> oh, God, no. 
How do I make her fly? Why does she do this? I'm pretty happy with it other than everything not working. We're going to do something about this. So these are going to be little hidden legs. In fact, what if it's just one leg? There you go. She's like something you'd stick to your fridge. Now, this, I believe, has fixed everything. And here she comes. Ele <laughs> elegantly flying. Just so graceful. Now that is a flying creature if I've ever seen one. Wait, there's only ever been two options here. What is this one? All right, this one is just depressing. Maybe Cat B is the only thing surviving because Cat B caused all of this. Did you do this? Oh my God. Okay, that's Cat B. What do you rate Cat B out of 10? Seven out of 10, six out of 10. Maybe you could check uh, what the actual Cat B looks to compare them. It's not necessary because this is what actual Cat B looks like. So it would just be two of this. So who's next? Hugger Pillar. Let's go. So there's our Puggy Pillar reference. Let's straighten this boy out. He should be as long as possible. I actually feel like maybe we want to do this one again. Can I make the nose flat? Like, I mean, that is kind of Puggy Pillar adjacent. There's always the option that we just give him a human nose. How do we feel about that? Okay, look, this is bad. But what if I got creative? See? Look at that. That's adorable. Okay, now we want to give him big floppy dog ears. Does this game have any floppy ears, though? I think they need to be a little bit longer, but those kind of work. Can I do this? <laughs> kind of? See, the chat turned a corner, and now they're all aboard the Pugapilla train. Oh my god! Perfection. Is there anything else about Pugapilla? I think we've just nailed it already, haven't we? Okay, now look, hear me out. I know he doesn't have a top hat but I really think he would benefit from a top hat, you know? <laughs> it really just brings it all together. And you know what? Each segment gets a little top hat of its own. A pink mustache? Well, you know what? I'll give it a go. Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Pugger Pillar looks like he owns half the property in the city of Chicago. Dapper Pillar. Incredible. Let's take him for a spin. God, I love him. Let me see what a dance from Pugapilla looks like. We'll get to the babies, don't worry. The babies are coming. Oh, there we go. Now that is the Pugapilla I know and love. Hello, sorry to interrupt. It is backseat from the edit here. While we get ready to rate Pugapilla, it looks like it's wearing sunglasses. It looks like it's a celebrity trying not to get papped. I just wanted to let you know I have another video creating the rest of the Poppy Playtime characters. <laughs> coming out very shortly after this one. So if that sounds like something you'd want to see, subscribing to the YouTube channel is probably a pretty good idea. Rate Dapper Pillar or Pugger Pillar out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for Dapper Pillar. And if you cannot possibly wait for that video, I have incredible news. You can watch all of my streams, including these ones, in their entirety on my Twitch page here. Well, that woke him up. What is flowers? Oh. With all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.